All right, so it's Wednesday morning. Paige just got her cast off, and uh, so the doctor kind of cleared her to start doing obviously super light stuff. So today I kind of have a, a later start to the day, so I'll go and do my strength and conditioning at one. Then I have uh, a boxing private, then no gi jiu jitsu, and then wrestling tonight. So um, I'm gonna start helping my wife out, getting back at it and getting into shape. So I've got a workout set up for her. Should be should be something that she can do where she doesn't have to use her arms. So obviously gonna be really heavy legs and, and uh, try to make her burn a little bit. You haven't heard it? You mean to tell me that you haven't heard it? No, I haven't heard it. Here, quiet. It's really terrific, Susie, when you hear it. This is such a nice reward after finishing a workout. That's some fresh fruit and chocolates. Excuse me. Oh, what a great way to finish my workout. Paige and Austin? Yes, Mr. Paige. What? what? It says, you are loved exactly how you are, where you are, and unconditionally. You are a beautiful soul. Let it shine. Yes, God is always with us. He is wanting you, he's wanting you to draw near to him. He wants you to spend quiet time with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yo, you better believe I'm gonna eat some of that. All right, so my husband's at the gym, um, pretty much like always, uh, and I am at home. I'm really excited though because obviously I still can't quite do my hair, even though I don't have my cast on. I can't like get my arm up there to like really do my hair. So I've got somebody who is coming over to braid my hair, give me some cool braids. Um, everyone knows I obviously love having my hair braided. And my husband's gonna get his hair cut too, so I am so excited to share what this little do is gonna look like, so. Um, where I, you are it's the first time. Look at those braids. First time seeing myself on this. But. What do you think, babe? So awesome. Yep. Brain hair. Well, I'm watching myself on ridiculousness. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. It's <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> it's sparring day here at American Top Team Portland. <laughs> I got my good brains. <laughs> It is fight day for Ricky Simone, our teammate. So we're going to be having sparring here. We'll go home really quick and then we're getting together. We're having a potluck here at the gym to support his fight and watch it on the TV here. So everyone's really excited. It's a really big day. Drop, baby. He finishes every practice. Well, not every practice. Every day there's 100 push-ups. So just get in with sparring, did sprints, and then straight into push-ups. Just finished up sparring for the day, Saturday. Uh, I felt good, I'm like six and a half, six-ish weeks out, six and a half weeks out. And uh, so, finished up sparring. I had a fresh guy every round. Uh, to push me and 
um, get my conditioning up. I'm moving up to 185 this fight, and uh, I feel good. I'm really excited about the idea of not having to like suck down and cut weight, and I think I think that's hurting like my conditioning, my cardio overall. I agree because I think you cut. You're too lean to cut as much weight as you do. Like, yeah, you're not a tall 185er. Um, but you walk around at like 200 pounds with like an eight pack and like 3% body fat. It's impossible for you to go and cut 30 pounds without hindering yourself. Yeah, for sure. I feel, I feel like, uh, I'm gonna really be able to be a even more athletic version of myself. And, and I actually think my conditioning, you know, if I do what I'm planning on doing, I think my conditioning is gonna be better because I'm gonna have more energy throughout uh, the fight camp and, and all that. Do you realize you sparred with every single person, every fresh guy was a southpaw? Yeah, so Every I, single one of your training sparring partners today was a southpaw. Yeah, I, I trained with a lot of southpaws. I've trained with a lot and... It's so weird that all of these like 170, 185 pound fighters that are all southpaw all ended up in the same place. It's fight day for our teammate Ricky Simone. Simone. So we are going to get some sniggity snacks. Yeah, we're having a potluck, but we didn't have time to cook anything. So we're yeah. gonna go get some from the store. Is it appropriate that you are soaking wet with sweat in your gym clothes right now? No. Picking out lunch? Not appropriate. We got a potluck going on. We got TV over there. Got the TV in the cage. Coach Warren, Hi. wife, Cass, and get ready to watch Ricky fight. The crew's here. No, man, too much chin. We are going for a hike. It is Sunday. Um, our rest day, wow, my glasses are crooked. Rest day slash active recovery day. So my husband's taking me to breakfast and uh, on a cute little hike. So, out here in Portland, uh, which it is such a nice day out. Okay, let's get an outfit of, pick a your hike outfit. Oh, look. Ooh, so nice. Okay, my turn. street from our house it's beautiful but throughout it I decided that we're gonna give each other workouts to do along the trail so he had to do his, he started it while he did his pull-ups but then he just did 50 toe taps five single leg squats each leg oh but my legs are sore from yesterday are they and, and switch sore legs so yeah one. nope this one's more oh. sore Watch your booty. <laughs> My booty. <sighs> hey, silly. Oh no. I guess we can't. <laughs> Whew. Good job, babe. Okay, so we're planning. I have to go. We have to go shopping tomorrow or today. We are headed to San Diego for a Top Golf event which is really exciting because obviously we're super good at 
Top Golf, and we like it a lot because we're really competitive. But I don't know if I have the patience to like start real golfing. So this is fun because you just go to the driving range and get to hit a ball super far. So we have a fun Top Golf coming up event coming up in San Diego. We were talking about what we should wear. We're gonna go to the mall and get some outfits. Um, I think I'm gonna actually rebraid my hair again get some new braids even though these are still in I want something fresh huh <laughs> this will be a fun one we'll go to top golf um, event and say hi to fun people and yeah Did great. I thought you did also. I feel okay. This is the journey. Sweaty. The journey to recovery. Um, got to start somewhere. Got my first pat session out of the way, so that's good. I already started. I have my checkup in a week, so that will be to see if my arm is cleared to come out of this like full time, because. Right now I'm only allowed to take it out when I'm not like being active. So when I'm active I have to wear it. So hopefully the doctor appointment goes good and they see signs of healing because that's what delayed my first surgery into getting a second one is because there was a zero percent sign of healing on my first initial checkup. So this will be my first initial checkup not like the post-surgery checkup, like the real checkup after waiting like six weeks after surgery, so. Um, yeah, praying for good news. I've been doing my bone growth simulator every single day twice a day. Um, and I've been taking my vitamins. Um, yeah, haven't been working out. This is the first one, so. Well, my first like real workout, so. Yeah, hoping for good news. 